Hey guys, in this video, we're going to create our database for our Zend application as well as the models. All right, now if you go to the documentation, they actually have some, some uh, SQL here that we can just paste in and it'll create our table along with, um, it'll, it'll be album table with an ID, artist, and title. All right, so let's copy that and it actually adds in some albums as well. So I'm going to go to my local host slash PHP my admin. And we're going to go create a new database. I'm going to call it my albums. And let's see, we want to go to the SQL tab and then just paste that in. All right, so let's try running it. All right, so that created uh, an album table. If we click on that, we have a couple different albums here. All right, now let's go back and let's see. We want to create our model files. All right, so module album source album model, and we want to create album.php. All right, so let's see. Source model. Uh, let's see. We want to create a new file and let's save it as album.php. All right, and we're going to grab this. Okay, so we have a class called album and we have a couple different properties, public properties, and then we have a public function called exchange array. All right, and we're just setting um, our properties here to the data okay um, now what we want to do is we want to create an album table file okay so this is the album model is basically deals with one a, a single album and the album table deals with all of them all right so let's see uh, in that same actually let's save that and in that same folder, we're going to create another file and we're going to save it as album table dot PHP. All right. And we'll just grab this. OK, we'll copy that, paste it in. We need PHP tags. All right. And this has a couple different methods here. Uh, we have a constructor. We're setting the table gateway. And then we have a fetch all. Fetch all is responsible for grabbing all of them from the database. Get album will grab one, uh, a single album with an ID. This is the function to save an album. And this deals with both, both insert and update, okay, depending on what we pass into it. And then, of course, we have delete album, which will take an ID, and it's going to call this table gateway delete. All right. So this table gateway is, is basically like a database handler. All right, that's what's used to call the different, um, the different methods, insert, delete, update. All right, so that's that, let's save it. And let's go back to the documentation. Uh, let's see. What we need to do now is edit the module.php file. So I'm gonna close these and let's open that up. Uh, let's see, where is it? Right here. All right. So what we need to do is add uh, reference to the album model and the album table model. So let's copy that and we'll paste that right in here. Okay, if you don't do that, it's not going to be able to see the model. And let's see what else we need to have this get service config. So let's copy this. And we're going to paste that under these. Just like that. We'll save that. And if we go down, now we need to actually connect our database because we haven't done that yet. All right. So this is going to go in con our global config auto load global.php. All right, so up here, autoload global PHP. And let's grab this array. 
and we're just going to overwrite this. Okay, and then we need to edit some stuff. The DB name, I'm changing to my albums. Okay, the host is local host, that's good. So we'll save that, and then the username and password needs to go in a file called local.php. So let's just take a look at this. Uh, you should put your database credentials in local.php. So we have this local PHP dist. Um, what I'm going to do is rename this and I'm going to take off the dot dist. Okay, and then we're just going to put in here this. Okay, my username is root. And this is your database username and password. All right, so we'll save that. All right, now back to the controller. Now, what I want to do is just make sure this is saved and go back and reload. Okay, no errors, that's good. Now, before we move on, I want a way to actually get to the albums page. So I'm going to add to the navigation, which is going to be in the application module. And it's going to be in view, layout, and then layout PHTML. Okay, so we'll go down here. This is where the nav bar is. Um, let's see. So in addition to home, let's create another list item. Okay, this is going to go to slash album. All right, and let's also create a link to add an album. So this will go to slash album slash add. All right, so albums and then add album. Awesome. So I'm going to stop the video here, and then in the next part, um, we'll go back to our controller and we will start to create our actions to interact with the database.